Hey everybody, it's your boy Zero here for another Zero Compo review. In this episode, we're going to cover the Gundam local type, North America type, from Gundam The Origin. So, this is one of the few Gundams I got from the Gundam Origin movie. And I saw North American type and I could have feel like, mm, this is more American than the American entry grade that dropped. The dude literally has a machine gun on his shoulder. It can form a Wolverine-like beam saber, and it has a machine gun for a regular weapon. Yeah, you yeah, really couldn't get more American than this. And this is just enough American type. I'm like, come on, just throw a couple of more machine guns, maybe a couple of more guns, and this would be the most American thing ever created. But aside from the humor in its name alone, it is a very similar colored kit to another one I did recently that's heavily toted out in weapons. You know it as the Gundam Command Urban Combat type from Gundam uh, Build Breakers Battlelog? Yeah. Same color scheme. I'll get into details why in a few seconds. So I'll catch you guys in the rest of the review. Now here's the Gundam local type with every no, North American version with everything that comes in box. The two beam sabers, the machine gun on his shoulder, the machine gun, in, the pump machine gun on his hand. There is backpack adapters. I just know the camera. These are for the backpack, I believe. And of course, a spare hand for. You know, holding the beam sabers in each hand. It has three hands total. The shooting hand for only one arm. And let's fix the camera again. There we go. Alright, we're back to normal. And two holding hands. And, of course, again, for the beam sabers. That's about it. And, of course, you remember those stickers like this from when I did the Gundam Breaker freaking... Urban Command type? Yep, these stickers are back. Except, now it's for this dude. Well, technically they're not stickers. They are, I believe, yeah, I believe these are the sticker type decals. Yeah, these are sticker type decals. But still, yeah. We have the main sticker sheet right here. See, there to compare. It's a tiny sheet. Huge sheet. So, yeah. So unless you like doing tiny details and stuff, this is going to be, at least with the decals, going to be a little bit of an issue. So, what I do love about this is that you can actually pop the beam sabers off. And I'm not going to say easily because they, they actually stay there nice and tight, so you don't have to worry about it bouncing out. But the shield here... I don't think that was supposed to pop off with it. Without it. Give me you. It's like, nah. We've been in here long enough. We're not moving. See, this piece you can replace with one of the backpack parts. So you can have the beam saber sit there. Oh, the gun decides to take a fly, though. That's going to be fun to try to figure out how that went. How did this work? Oh, here we go. Pop this here. We'll tape that round. And you can pop the shield on right about here. At least you should, yep, there it goes. And then you can put the beam sabers right here, and now you have a claw. Another set of claws, which is awesome. So if you want to go crazy, get two, and now you have claws in the hands, claws in the shield, beam saber claws everywhere. Which, again, very Wolverine-esque, and as a Marvel fan, oop, there we go, get this on camera. As a Wolverine fan, totally love. So we're just going to pop the boy back here. With the arm moved, which is great. This is where you can plop another one of the ports, like right here. If you don't want the machine gun there, you pop these here. 
and now you can put the beam sabers here instead. See? You can put the beam sabers here instead now, but I prefer to keep the machine gun there because it's a giant cannon that goes on the back. Who, who doesn't love that? So yeah. Let's do the articulation test. Well, we got a paralyzed back flap, so that's not moving anywhere. Front skirting goes up, side skirting goes... That's as high as the side skirting goes, so heads up on that. Is the leg all the way up? Yeah. This is what you get. Forwards, at least. And, yeah, this is all the leg all the way back. So you're not getting great articulation out of this. Here's the leg all the way bent. Not bad. The ankle has decent rotation. That's the arm all the way up and out. There's the bend. Pretty decent. As for abs, very wobbly. Not, say, horrible like the Schwarzrider, but that, you know, it will fall off if you even try to breathe on it without gluing it, but it's a little bit wobbly. And not really much of an ab crunch, it's just a very wobbly chest. I mean, it's a minor ab crunch if you think about it. The head's on a... Was it getting out of the way? The head's on a ball joint, so... Up, down, turn around. We got all the important stuff. So let's put the beam savers back onto his Wolverine arm, as I now dubbed it, because it's cooler that way. Wolverine claw, save tooth arm, whatever helps you. Claw arm. At least, and again, at least this makes sense militaristically. You can use it as a weapon, as a spare weapon, or keep it attached to the arm, and surprise, no one sees you getting stabbed by two little ports on the arm. That's at least useful. I mean, I picked this dude because it's black. I, I'm not going to even front. I was ordering this one day, and I was like, oh, I need a really cool looking go black or gold mobile suit, and it was like, this suit was on sale at Galactic Toys, and I was like, ooh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Then when I got him, I'm like, oh my god, this is just another version. This looks very similar to the Urban Combat one from Gundam Build Breakers. Even though the Gundam Build Breaker one is based off the ground Gundam, and this is just the Gra Gundam local type. So, but the color scheme is exactly the same, so. If you want more of the same colors, this one and the Gundam FSD... And the urban command, the urban combat one, are all colored the same. So, if you like that color scheme, you got at least now three options to go through. So there's that. So all in all, this is a solid little kit. At least articulation wise, build wise, it's decently solid. Nothing's gonna fall off on you if you shake it enough. From what it looks like, at least. I built this a while ago, I just haven't gotten around to reviewing it. Like, some builders have a backlog of stuff they haven't built, I have a backlog of stuff I haven't reviewed. A very, very big backlog of things I have not reviewed. So let's just wrap up the review and summarize this guy and we can call it a day. So like I said before, all in all this is a very solid kit. It's basically a slightly souped up granddaddy Gundam with a lot more bells and whistles well none of the bunches whistles as to say the Gundam origin version because from what I've seen in the box it has very similar stuff but not the beam saber shield combo as this one does so there's that and it has a beam rifle instead of this machine gun thing it has instead but like I said it's just a more souped up version of it 
So yeah, and technically it's supposed to have three beam sabers. It's only based on the box art. This only comes with two. I mean, that'd be great if it came with all three beam sabers for days. Come on, just think about it. They think you ran out of ammo. You ran out of beam sabers. Surprise, Wolverine Claw. That would be awesome. But unfortunately, they did not have that. Now, what you gonna do about it? So, I picked up this dude at Galactic Toys. I'm not entirely sure if they still have him. I'm not going to say, oh, they do. But last time I checked, they did still have him in stock. So, if you want one of your own, you know, pick it up. Support, use my link down below. Support the channel. Uh, they also have the Gundam FSD. So, if you want another colored scheme, similar color scheme one as this, but a lot more actually physically different looking the shield is also different so that's another thing they have different from the traditional granddaddy gundam like they got it more from like the gundam ground type shield but yeah if you want more of stuff that look like that the gundam urban combat one those are the two that i know off my head who are normal colored like or color like that out of box, no customization needed. This is just snap them together, put the stickers on, and bam, they're all the same colored looking mobile suit. Uh, if you want to support the channel, like I said, links are down below. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace. And hopefully, the hunt and kill will get here next week. Hopefully. It was supposed to get here today, but it got delayed, and that's annoying. But hopefully, the hunt and kill gets here soon so I can review that. So, catch you guys later. Peace.